Yo, what's up guys, Tito here. And so in this video, basically, it piqued my interest to see what kind of ROMs there are for the LG Vault. I know this is a pretty old device, and to be quite honest with you guys, I was able to get it to 7.1.1 Nougat. So for those people who are still rocking the LG Vault, there is a way to get your device currently up to the closest to the latest version of Android. I haven't seen anything regarding Android Oreo for the Vault. But I can tell you guys right now that, um, yeah, 7.1.1, uh, so it's right there. If it'll focus. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, so far, a couple things that I've seen that's broken on here is cameras. So trying to access the cameras is not working at all whatsoever. Um, I'm going to play around and see if there's other cameras that you can download with this, and I'll do a different review later on about it. Let me show you guys how to get this installed on your LG Vault. So let's take it down to table view, and let's get this thing going. All right, guys. So as um, I stated in the beginning of this video, we're going to be installing Lineage OS 4. Well, 14.1. Uh, this is for the LG Vault, and I'm quite surprised that the Vault is getting this kind of treatment. Um, so here's the web page itself. Basically, it walks you through all the steps that you're going to need to take in order to install this ROM. Fairly simple if you're pretty familiar with um, how to install custom ROMs on an Android smartphone. If you're not familiar with that then don't fret my pet because this web page has step-by-step -step instructions that is you know easy enough for the novice user to be able to follow um, so you're going to go ahead and download uh, the things that it wants you to download obviously one of them is you'll be downloading the rom file itself now because this is based on the aosp um, rom it's uh, going to be broken into two parts so you're going to have the rom itself which is Lineage OS 14.1, which is based off of 7.1.1 NuGet. And then you're also going to have to download the, um, the G apps or Google apps, um, and you're gonna flash those two things separately. So um, make sure you have an SD card available. Um, as you guys can see here, I've already begun downloading the ROM itself, which is almost completely done downloading. And then the G apps that is uh, downloading as well now if you're wondering what g apps is it's basically google apps so it's your play store it's your gmail it's your chrome browser it's all google um eccentric applications that's really what it is and yes you're going to need them um installed now because my device is already rooted i like to use a quick shortcut to get into recovery so i installed reboot recovery and um yeah so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now we're just going to go ahead and select it it's going to say okay and it's gonna ask for root permissions. I'm gonna grant them. And this is just a lazy way to access recovery rather than having to do the button configurations. But if you're wanting to know to uh, boot into recovery, is volume down and power, and that will launch recovery. So when you know it's working is when you're holding those buttons down from a off position, so the phone must be off, um, it will say factory resetting first. As you guys can see, using the lazy shortcut way just got me straight into twerk recovery. Um, and so from here, as I suggest to anybody who is going to flash a custom ROM on your Android smartphone, please do, do make a backup. I know it takes time. It's going to take a little bit of time for it to back up all the information from your previous working ROM. Uh, but you want that backup in case if anything goes wrong, then you can just restore back from your backup you created. So always create a backup before flashing any custom ROMs. So the next step is, is that you're gonna go ahead and wipe your device. Um, you're gonna to wanna to basically just do like a factory reset wipe. And that's just to clear out anything that would cause uh, flashing the custom ROM, cause it to be a little bit buggy. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, now that that's completed and we've wiped all data off the phone, now we're gonna continue on and we're gonna go ahead and install the custom ROM. Now this is the order you're going to want to flash it in. So you're going to want to flash basically you're going to start off with the ROM itself. Now some people say it's better to do the ROM first and then reboot back into recovery and then flash G apps. Um, I never had an issue doing them all together so I'll select the ROM, G apps, and uh, because Lineage um, may not have root in it, 
you might want to flash the root zip file just to m make sure that you have root with um, the custom ROM you're going to install. So all three have been selected. We're going to go ahead now. Let's flash them on. So uh, here we go. Oh, wait, my finger's on the screen. There we go. Um, it doesn't support multi-touch right there. So uh, it, wouldn't, it, wouldn't do the, it wouldn't slide over to accept the uh, progression to flash. So now it's doing so. And I do want to make a little bit of a note here. Um, the G app that I downloaded was the incorrect one. So you're going to want 7.1.1. You're going to want the G apps for that and not for 7.0 NuGet. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there while this is, that's why you guys see that there was an error with, um, installing the G apps. So, um, yeah, I went ahead and went back into the browser and downloaded the correct G apps for it, which is the one for 7.1.1. You could choose either one of the G apps you want. If you want the full, uh, the full G apps, or if you want um, micro or mini or nano or Pico, whichever one, um, the smallest one, basically just having the play store and then the fullest G apps having all Google apps, um, basically involved. So here it is now it's booting up right now. You guys can see this screen when you're at this screen, then you're halfway there because there's times where you can flash a ROM and it'll show like this type of screen, which is the boot animation. But then if it doesn't go any forward than that, then you're stuck in what's called a boot loop. If that tends to happen and um, wipe, going back into recovery and wiping doesn't work, um, you're going to have to start over from scratch. So that's why you need your backup. You would, what you do is restore from your backup and then try to process all over again. Um, so yeah, so that's why your backup is very important. So while we're waiting for it to boot up, um, you'll know that it's actually done good when you reach this point. At this point, basically, it's safe to say that the ROM is currently functional on the device. Now, this is an unofficial version of Lineage 14.1, so it means that not everything is going to work well with it. And that's something that we're going to have to look into. Um, let's kind of find out what works and what doesn't work. And I'll make a whole entirely separate video based on that. But from what I know already, just playing around with it, um, the cameras doesn't work. I am going to look for a solution for that and find if there is a specific camera that can work with it or if it's completely within the software um, that the camera's not working and then either so, um, hopefully there'll be a fix for it uh, as the developers continue to develop. Hopefully they continue to develop for this. I know the LG Volt is a very, very, very old phone and to see it, you know, have this, um, this version of Android basically for it, an unofficial version that's currently right now it's half-baked. Um, but it's still nice to see that they're giving some attention to it and um, you being able to access things. So here's what it looks like. It has the Trebuchet uh, launcher right out of stock. Um, and so uh, let's go and kind of go through and just kind of see what it has. Um, it does feel a little bit buggy from what I can tell already. Uh, this looks like that some things are still like loading. So it is taking some time for things to like respond and and load up but uh yeah here we go so 7.1.1 nougat and you can play the easter egg um cat hunting for well hunting for cats so um you can do that uh it it, it is stock it is stock android so it doesn't have any of lg's influences on it um so you don't have the ux 5.0 on this device um it's just it's going to be running stock android which um you know it's not, it's not too shabby at all whatsoever um, so here we go. I'm trying to launch the cameras and this is what I'm talking about things being half baked and not fully functional. So camera is not even launching at all. We don't even have um, anything launching up for camera. Um, it has a Google now launcher, which is kind of weird, but okay. Um, they should have just put in the pixel two launcher, but oh, well, um, yeah. So yes, and see here, um, now we're using the Google now launcher. It doesn't have the, the, um, Google feed to the left or. Um, yeah, as you can see, some things aren't just working all that great. It's still a little bit buggy, but nonetheless, um, here it is in all its glory. So, uh, 7.1.1 nougat for the LG vault. So anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop me a like to let me know, click that subscribe button and the bell option to know when I upload a video. As always, thanks for watching. Aloha. Talk to y'all in the next.